Can you hear me now? Then why can't I hear you? Okay. Okay, you hear me? Okay. Okay, yep, I know how to do that. Hold on one second. Screen. Here you go. Get rid of this junk here. One second. Let's go full screen now. Here, Mark, is he locked? Is he locked? Is he logged in? Okay, very good. Let's uh, call me back if I. Either way, either way. I'll be here, okay? Bye bye. Um, hi everyone. Um, uh, this is this is our Mark from Right Line Training, and it, it, it it's really an uh, an, an honor and a, pl a privilege uh, to uh, to introduce uh, Jake Bernstein. Um, he's uh, uh, an internationally recognized futures analyst, uh, trader, and author. Um, he's written more than forty one books, numerous research studies, and newsletters on futures trading, stock trading. Um, and uh, he's lectured extensively uh, in the United States, Canada, Europe, and Asia. Um, his forecasts and opinions are quoted frequently in the financial press and on numerous websites. Uh, he's a consultant to investors, traders, uh, financial institutions, short-term traders, and brokerage firms. And uh, he's going to talk to you about uh, two advisory services. Um, that he's going to uh, start. Uh, one is uh, uh, a stock swing trading newsletter, the other a futures uh, swing trading newsletter, both both in video form, um, both uh, based on seasonal trends. So um, uh, I'm going to turn I'm going to turn it over to Jake and um, and uh, let him. Uh, uh, I'll talk to you about, about uh, the, the nature of his, uh, of his newsletters. I mean, we couldn't have anyone who's uh, more accomplished and more knowledgeable in this field. So thanks, Jake, and and uh, and uh, um, you're you're on the floor. Take. Thank you, Mark, for giving me this opportunity. Can everyone hear me? Okay. Good. So look, the bottom line is this, and I'm going to keep it short and sweet, and that is this. A lot of people trade, but they don't know why they trade, except they think they're going to make money. But the bottom line is they don't trade like they want to make money. So I'm going to give you the usual hypothetical disclaimer right over here. Then I want to show you some patterns that I use and show you how I can help you with your trading. Because look... If you're not making money in the current trading environment, then there's a problem. The problem is you either have the wrong tools, you don't have objective tools, or you don't have profit maximizing strategies. So in this beautiful market, whether it's stocks or futures, you should be making money. You should be making some money and you definitely shouldn't be losing money. So think about this. The average trader sees the E-Trade commercial that says, don't get mad, get even. Open an E-Trading account. You say, well, how am I going to learn how to trade? Of course, go to the Internet. So the average person goes to the Internet. They say, teach me how to day trade or teach me how to trade. This is what they get. Look at this. The search term, teach me day trading returns 80 million hits. That's huge. Confusing. 
How's anyone going to learn anything? Most of what you're going to get is courses, seminars, webinars, courses that require you to take more courses, mentoring, training, and all the rest of that stuff. But the problem is it's not going to be objective. So let's talk about this. I am a fact-backed, rules-based trader. That's a mouthful. What do I mean? Think about this. Would you get on a plane knowing that the pilot did not have a GPS or tra air traffic control or rules and instructions and flight progress and contact with the radio and experience? Of course you wouldn't do it. It'd be crazy. So why take a trade if you don't know everything about that trade? Or about that system or about that strategy? People are willing to do all sorts of crazy things because somebody said, this works. The real issue is, how do you know it works? There's all kinds of junk out there and people lose money with that junk because there's no record, there's no rules, there's no consistency. And that's the big problem. So I fix that problem by being a fact-backed, rules-based trader. I will not take any trade whatsoever unless I know about 14 different things about that trade. I will show you what I'm talking about. Let's go to the next slide. I believe in what I call the seven F words of trading. First, you have to find the trade. That's not difficult to do. You follow some rules and you find a trade. The trade has to be fact checked. Just because somebody says it works doesn't mean it works. Example, if we talk to, if you, if you look at CNBC, the newscasters on CNBC, who are nothing but reporters a few years ago, <clears throat> excuse me, all of a sudden have become market experts. They talk as if they've understood the market. They talk about the 200 day and the 50 day. They say, well, the 50 day moving average crossed above the 200 day. It's the golden cross. The market's going to go higher. The 50 day cross below the 200 day. It's the death cross. The market's going to go lower. But they have no idea. We'll talk about that momentarily. The next F word is filter. No matter how good the trade is in terms of its statistics, it's not good if it's too risky for you. Follow through. What are the rules for following through on the trade? How does it begin? How does it end? Finalize by implementing the rules. Then if you make a mistake, fix your mistakes before you take the next trade and go on and formulate <clears throat> your next action. Those are what I call the seven F words of trading. So I'm going to show you a couple of things today that are very clear. No analysis, no interpretation, no myth, no magic, no looks like, no Fibonacci, no astrology, no Elliott wave. Exact, clear rules. I'll show you what I mean. Think about this. And I respectfully submit this to you because I've been trading for 52 years. I think I can help you. If you want help, I know what I'm talking about. So let's look at this list. Before I make a trade, and as I go through this list, ask yourself the question, how much of these rules do you know about any trade you make? I respectfully submit to you that if you don't know at least two thirds, but preferably all of these things about any trade you make, you're not playing with a full deck. And if you're not playing with a full deck, you will lose money sooner or later, most likely sooner. So when I make a trade, I want to know, number one, what to trade, a stock, a futures, a crypto, whatever, an option. I want to know whether to buy or sell. I want to know the exact mm -hmm. time of day or the price to get in. I want to know my odds of success. How often has this strategy been right? I want to know my average profit, my average loss over many years, my stop, my profit to loss ratio. Am I making more when I'm winning than I'm losing when I'm losing? I want to know the complete track record of every trade based on this strategy. I want to know my average profit, my average loss in points and percent. 
I want to know the largest profit or loss in history for, the, for this particular strategy. I want to know the maximum downswing, the maximum upswing, and I'm not done yet, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. The number of consecutive winners, the number of consecutive losers, the accuracy, and all of those things that are shown here. So my, my, my suggestion to you is this. If you don't know all of these things, you have a problem. And if you don't have a problem now, you will have a problem later. So in the new service that Mark talked about, I show all these things for every single trade that I recommend. Where to get in, where to get out, the risk, the profit target, how to maximize the profit, to stop everything. And I show you the odds of success. Let me show you what I mean. And by the way, if you use charts like this, people send me things like this all the time. And I say, look at this and I say, what the hell does that mean? Don't do it. You're going to lose money. Most of these indicators are not clear. They have no specific indications or rules. Don't do it. It's a losing proposition. How about this? I teach and practice what I tra and I tra teach and trade what I practice because it's fact backed and rules based trading. Let me give you an example. I like to weaponize market rules. I'm not an artist. I'm a technician. I never analyze anything because it either is or it isn't based on the rules. So fact-based, rule-based trading is not perfect, but it's very accurate. It creates focus. We focus on a target and that facilitates hitting the target. So let me show you something. Let's look at this. Here's a trade. It's coming right up. It's the pre-holiday Thanksgiving trade. Let me tell you exactly what the rules are and you'll see that when we know the rules it makes everything crystal clear. Since the 1880s there's been a strong statistical tendency for the Dow Jones and the S&P to close higher on the day before the major holiday. Higher than what? Higher than the day before that. Example. Thanksgiving falls on a Thursday. The rule is very simple. Buy on the close of trading Thursday, uh, Wednesday. Get out on the close of trading Thursday. That's it. As simple as that rule sounds, I'm going to give you some more rules that go with it. People want to find a way to break the rules. Invariably, since I've been teaching this since about 35 years now, I will get a call on Wednesday morning, the day you're supposed to get in. And the call will be like so. Hey, Jake, the market's already going up. Do I need to wait until the end of the day today? Yes, that's the rule. Why can't I get in right now? Because that's not the rule. Can I get in during the day? What if there was a pullback? Pullback? How much of a pullback? I don't know, just a pullback. No. When do I get in? End of day. What kind of order should I use? Market on close. And then what happens? The next day, the market opens higher, example. I'll get a call from the same person. They'll say, should I get out now? I can't tell you what to do. Well, when should I get out? The rule says, get out at the end of the day. Why should I wait for the end of the day? I'm, I'm showing a profit now. Well, if it's burning a hole in your pocket and you need to take the money and run, and you have a multiple position, go ahead. Take some money off the table. Put in a stop at break even and let it go. Then get out by the end of the day. Now, during the day, that person's really nervous. They keep on calling me or they keep writing me. And they're saying, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. At the end of the day, it's working. Now, everything's changed. They say, you know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to keep this trade until Friday. W why? Because I am the greatest trader in the world. I just got a hold of this beautiful day trade, overnight trade, and now it's going my direction. I'm going to keep it. No. The rule is don't keep it. So think about this. What's missing from this strategy? Well, the stop loss, easy. Take the largest range day of the last 10 days. Use that as your stop during the day. What else is missing? Profit maximizing strategy. That's easy. I have a profit maximizing strategy, which I will use in the recommendations that I'm going to give you. Very, very simple. Now, the question is this, is it possible based on this pattern, there's been more to it. Is it possible that prices start going up even before 
Thanksgiving. Is it possible that they keep going up after Thanksgiving? Well, that question is easily answered by the computer. Look, everything I do is done on computer because the computer doesn't lie. The computer doesn't interpret. The computer doesn't tell me its opinion. It simply tells me the facts, as I said before. Fact-backed, rules-based trading. So if I take this concept of pre-holiday, and by the way, this type of rationale, this type of strategy applies to all major U.S. holidays. Fourth of July, Christmas, New Year's, Easter, all of these holidays and many more. They're all covered in a very good book, which you should read, called The Behavior of Prices on Wall Street. That's The Behavior of Prices on Wall Street by Art Merrill. I didn't write that book, but it's a fabulous book that talks about these kinds of patterns. So let me come back to this. I go to my computer and I say, show me the behavior of stock index prior to Thanksgiving and after Thanksgiving and show me trades that have been accurate. So the computer spits out this big report and it says, buying stock index futures end of day November the 20th, March futures contract, getting out end of day, December the 4th, risking 3% of my entry prices, had a profit to loss ratio of 17 to 1 with 81% accuracy, and many other variations on the theme. So does this tell me everything that I listed before? What to buy or sell, when to get in, when to get out, average profit in points, average profit in percent, number of consecutive wins, maximum upswing, maximum consecutive losses, everything you want to know with one exception. And that exception is, will it work this year? By applying a special formula, a proprietary methodology, I can go through all of these trades and find the best one. The computer says this is the best one because it's the most accurate, but it may very well be this one or this one. So by applying the timing strategy, I can fine tune this for you. Very simple. I do it all the time. And that's what my report's going to be like. Every week I'm going to give you three specific high probability trades. When to get in, when to get out, the risk, the target, the trailing stop, everything. One report, it's a video report, it can show you the complete history. Video report, one report will be stocks, three stocks every week. Another report will be futures, three futures every week, published over the weekend. Now let me show you something really cool. I'm going to show you the complete history of this procedure. So in other words, every year in S&P futures, going back to the start of trading, that's almost 40 years of history. Now who in this business will show you 40 years of history? Who in this business is going to show you 40 trades based on what they teach you? Nobody's going to do that. They don't want to see, they don't want you to see it. They don't have the numbers. So think about that. So, but look at this, look at the track record and think about this year by year, histogram on the top and the bottom cumulative results. Now, as I said before, these are hypothetical results based on history. We need to have some history to take a look at the results, but check this out. What are you going to do this year? I give you this trade in advance. What are most people going to do? Most people, first of all, have no idea about the things that I showed. They have no idea it exists. They have no idea they can get the numbers. They don't have the numbers. So we have specific rules. And by the way, if the market is closed on the day of entry, we get in on the close of trading the next business day. We have a rule for everything. So what are most traders going to think? They're going to look at this chart and they're going to say, well, here's the problem. The problem is this. This has been working too well. It's got its highest cumulative profit ever last year. It's working really well. But this year is going to be different. I say, why is it going to be different? Well, it's going to be different because Trump's the president. He's getting impeached. He's an idiot. We've got Democrats 
not doing any work. The economy is growing too strongly. We've got war in the Middle East. We've got terrorists. We've got everything. Blah, 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 BS nonsense. Or the other side of the equation, they're going to say, wow, what an incredible trade. It's only lost money once in many years. And that was this little, little teeny weeny little blip back here. And therefore, I'm going to bet the farm. Neither one of those approaches is right. You're going to look at the stop. You're going to say, what's the stop? Is that risk acceptable in my account? If it's not, you're going to say, is there a vehicle, an option, an option strategy, a mini contract, an ETF that I can take to participate in this absolutely wonderful trade that will give me less exposure? And I will show you that. So we can do this. This whole process is part of what I call setup, trigger, and follow through. Step one, find the setup. That's the seasonal. Step two, apply a trigger. The trigger will help increase the probability this year. Number three, follow through by using profit targets, risk management, and profit maximizing strategies. Really, really simple. Let's go to the next slide. So here's my rule, the most important rule of all. If you can't test it, don't trade it. Whether you subscribe to my service or not is irrelevant to me. I'll make money either way. It's not an issue. What is important to me is this. If you come away from today's webinar, which you paid, for, which you got for free, with only one idea, and that idea is this. Set up, trigger, follow through. It has to be a pattern. The pattern must trigger, and then you must follow through correctly. And if you can't test it, don't trade it. I will have done my job. I'll be happy, and you will have gotten something for nothing. Believe it. It's true. If you can't test it, don't trade it. Don't become a victim of the trap that most people fall into by, saying, by, talk, by listening to people say, it looks like the market wants to go higher. What the hell does that mean? How does the market know what it wants to do? And what does looks like mean? What looks like something to me might look like something entirely different to you. That's why we have wars. That's why we have different religions. That's why we have so many problems in the world. There is no looks like. There is only is or isn't. So the evidence on seasonality is undeniable. It's clear it's been around for many years. And it's demonstrable. It's statistical. It's provable. So remember my list. Make note of that list. So let me show you something else. Let's talk about the so-called 50 and 200 day moving averages. The ones they talk about on TV, the golden cross, the death cross. The reality is right here. You know, I live in Santa Cruz, California, which is not too far from Silicon Valley. I'm invited to give talks at some of these really big high tech firms teaching their engineers how to use their retirement money and make it grow. So I'm a frequent speaker there. A few years ago, I was giving a talk and I was saying, you've got all these things, trend lines, island reversals, key reversals, Fibonacci, Elliott Wave. What we really need to do is this. Take those concepts, if you can turn them into algorithms or rules, put them on the computer and test them. The guy puts up his hand, remember he's an engineer, puts up his hand and he says, wow. What a great idea. You mean we can test these things with a computer? That's fabulous. And I'm saying to myself, is this for real? We've got a room full of engineers here and they don't know how to use computers to backtest something. Here's the backtest of the golden cross and death cross. Quickly, accuracy, top right hand corner, 27% wins. 11 consecutive losses, three consecutive wins, absolutely pathetic if you like this use it i hate this it's stupid it's brainless it's nonsensical here's the track record on a graph pathetic so let me show you something else i research patterns i find patterns that work here is a four day pattern exact precise pattern that can be programmed with clear rules put it on the computer do a back test and here's what you get Compare the two, 87% accuracy, 
$260 average profit per trade, 645 trades, 26 consecutive winners, three consecutive losers. It's a short-term trade. It doesn't make a lot of money for each trade. But remember, this is only showing one contract per trade. So without increasing the profitability by using a profit management strategy, this is a raw number. And here is the track record. Very impressive. So the question really becomes this. What do you want to do with your time and your money? Do you want to risk your money on stuff that hasn't been tested? Stuff that can give you no statistics? Or do you want to risk your money on something that's going to give you odds of success, clarity, specificity, and rules? I know what I want to do because it makes sense to me. But still, there's going to be people who say, we're going to see what they say on CNBC. Nonsense. So I can generate numbers because I'm a numbers guy. This strategy tells me everything that I need to know. And by the way, let's look at this. Let's talk about max consecutive losses. Why is max consecutive losses important? Think about this. The average trader who's never traded before finds a trading strategy, usually something that doesn't work, but they don't know it. They put on a trade, their first trade ever, they lose money. What's their reaction? The reaction is, no problem. I'm, a, I'm, I'm okay with that. I didn't expect my strategy to work immediately right out of the box, so I'm okay with one loss. I'm going to stay with my strategy because I have discipline. They make the next trade. They lose money. They're not happy, but they're saying, hey, two trades in a row losing money, not bad. It happens. I'm going to take the next trade. They take the next trade. They lose three times in a row. Now, they're not so happy anymore. They're saying, this is no fun anymore. I want to have some winners. Most traders cannot make it through three consecutive losses without abandoning their system, changing their strategy, changing the rules, or saying, Jake's a bum, or whatever it is. I'm not going to do this anymore. They'll go back and they're going to say, if I had done this just a little bit differently, it would have worked. Now they go to the fourth rate, they do a little bit differently, it doesn't work. Here's the deal. In my experience, which has been very extensive, most traders cannot take four losses in a row, let alone three. Even the best trading strategies in the world can lose six times in a row. So if you're not prepared to lose a number of consecutive times, this game is not for you. The trades that I'm going to be selecting for you in my new video newsletters have never lost money more than three times in a row. In fact, most of them twice in a row at the most. So let's go on to the next slide. This is the track record that I just showed you. So the setup trigger follow through strategy or model, very important. Seasonality. And let me show you something else. Seasonality is not a short-term thing. Here's a chart of the Dow Jones. And ask yourself the question, who does this? Who has this information in this business? I do. We go all the way back to 1901, the Dow Jones. And what do we see? One chart that shows the average behavior of the Dow Jones for many years. Look at the red arrow. That shows where we are right now. We're in the strongest period of the year. And we can look at it in terms of statistics this way. Here is the Dow Jones seasonal chart, 1920 to 2018. At the bottom of the chart, green arrows up. Sequentially, green arrows up, for example, I highlighted in April. The first three weeks of April, very bullish. The size of the move, not so big but the accuracy very high. Toward the end of the year, which is the period of time we're into now, a very strong move. So we can look at the market in many different ways, as I'm showing you on these charts. Now this seasonality doesn't apply just to futures, or S&P, it applies to stocks as well, and to other commodities. Here's the behavior of copper. It says sometime toward the middle, toward the middle of November, end of October, copper begins to bottom. I go to the screen and I say, what about the last 20 or 30 years, 50 years, 40 years? This is a family of curves. 
showing different segments of time how the behavior of copper prices seasonally remains consistent. So it said very simply that copper tends to top in May and June and right over here it shows what copper did this year. The green line showing the top. So we can do this on all kinds of markets and show very specific trades. Here's a trade in copper December 18th through December 24th with 78% accuracy over many years. So remember I will not show you just long trades but short trades as well. And let me show you one more thing. Hold on one second, please. How about this? Here's a trade coming up in November. November 20th through December the 4th. That's the trade from before. Look at all these possibilities. My job for you will be to find the best one. Very dramatic historical representation, like I showed before. Cumulative profit, cumulative loss. And here's another one that's coming up in February and January. Again, I'm going to find these trades for you, give them to you specifically, and show you the probabilities of success. So let me show you something else. This holds true in stocks as well as in futures. So here's the chart for 3M, same kind of information, and the same statistical probability. The October trade, buying October 9th, getting out December, the, uh, February the 24th. This would be a longer term trade with high accuracy. And this chart in the yellow shows the period of time for this trade. So if I'm going too fast for you, I'm sorry about that. There's a lot of information to cover. But here's the bottom line. I want you to appreciate the fact everything I do is based on numbers. Everything I do is based on clarity. The clarity is there. The numbers are there. The statistics are, are there. That's all there is to it. So let's go forward a little bit. Here's a trade that just recently triggered. Ingersoll Rand. How did it trigger? Very simply on the data. Here's the MM 3M trade from last year. These were the numbers, February 9th, February 20th, and this is how the trade turned out. Now let me ask you another question. In fact, let's look at this. People say things are different today. What if and by the way, Mark or Rory, I don't have the sign-up link. I don't know what I did with it. But if one of you guys can help me out and get the sign-up link for anyone who wants to register for the new service, I would appreciate that. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So let me do a what if. And here's the what if. What if I said to you, since... 1920. Has the United States economy been through recession, inflation, the Great Depression? Have we had several wars? World War II, the Korean War, the Gulf War, Desert Storm, you name it. Have we had Republicans, Democrats, independents, idiots, oil embargo, bank crisis, everything. Based on fundamentals, which I don't use, we would expect that there would be no consistency in the markets. But if I go to my computer and I search, computer, show me anything in the Dow Jones that has been correct 75% of the time or more since the 1920s computer spits out these results and says, buying the Dow Jones end of day, October the 26th, getting out January 10th with 15% risk as a stop would have been right 83% of the time or more. Truly unbelievable because this pattern exists. We want to use it. But remember, this pattern is a longer term pattern. It starts the 26th of October. It ends January 10th. Most people do not have the ability to keep a trade for this long unless it's a losing trade. People like to get out of their winners really fast, but they like to get out of their losers. They like to hold their losers until they grow hair on them. We don't do that. The service will be in and out quickly. Heating oil. 
look at this beautiful trade. These are the kind of trades we're going to focus on in the report. And last but not least, we've got the Christmas trade, showing 69% accuracy, buying the day before Christmas holiday. Here's the Thanksgiving trade again. So if you have any questions for me, I'm jake at trade-futures.com. If you want mentoring, there's my mentoring address. But what I would like to do, Rory or Mark, help me out over here because I don't have the pricing for the new service, which I think I shared with you, Mark. You want you guys come in and help me out here? Just hang in there, ladies and gentlemen. Well, the new service will be about 97 bucks a month for each different service. There's going to be one for futures and one for stocks. If you attended the webinar, we'll send you the sign-up link. I think you'll like the service. It's going to be very specific, very clear. I will show you exactly what to do every week, where to get in, where to get out, the market, the risk, the profit target, the complete track record, how to maximize profit, and all of the above. So I thank you all very much for being here. I hope I've been able to teach you something. If you have any questions, just send them to me, jake at trade-futures.com. Thanks again. And watch your email. We'll send you those sign-up links.